So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do your wheel hubs. The reason I did this is my wheel bearings are bad. Um, you can replace the bearings themselves. It's pretty cheap, but usually it's so rusted together. It's almost just worth it to buy a new hub. Um, these can be found at 1AAuto.com. Um, it was $100 for both, so I think that's a fair price, and they're really well uh, well built, high quality components. Alright, and you can take your car to a shop to get it diagnosed to see if the wheel bearings are bad. Um, the way I found out is if you just turn down your stereo all the way and maybe silence your exhaust if possible, um, you'll actually hear as you're going down the road, it just sounds very uneven in the wheel bearing. It's just kind of like a, a howling noise coming from the wheel and that's how you'll know they need to be replaced. So the first thing you're going to want to do is jack up the car. There's going to be a point under the frame where we can jack it up from. So having a look under the car, if you come back here where the tire is, you're going to see this little notch. We're going to want to put the jack stand right there because that's the strongest point. So we're going to jack it up just to the right of it just a little bit and we're going to slide the jack stand under right there. Alright, now with the car jacked up and resting on the jack stand, I also have the jack there just for extra safety. Let's go ahead and undo the wheel. The torque spec is 76 foot-pounds. Okay, now with the tire off, we're going to want to get the drum off. Theoretically, it should just slide straight off. Usually they're kind of rusted on there, so take a small hammer or something and tap it evenly on each side. And also go ahead and loosen your e-brake. Make sure your car's in first gear or reverse so that way it's not gonna roll. All right, now that that's off, you can see we have access to the hub. Let's go ahead and go underneath the car and undo the four bolts from the back of the hub. All right, now coming underneath the car, there's four bolts, they're 12 millimeters each. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, go ahead and loosen those and just slide those straight out so we can remove the hub. Also, some cars have uh, disc brakes and ABS sensors. Um, sometimes on your car, there may be a sensor just plugged in right into this piece. This one doesn't have that. Usually you would just grab onto that clip and slide it straight off that metal piece right here. Now with those four bolts broken loose, um, we can go ahead and ratchet them off. Sometimes it's easier just to do it how I did it, or sometimes it's better to be back under behind the car. And just like that, you'll see we have all four bolts removed. There's the threaded part, and then there's the smooth part, um, and they're all four the same. And to get the hub off, theoretically, it should just pull straight out. If yours doesn't want to pull out, one thing you can do is you can undo the brake hardware, which is quite a pain, so make sure you know what you're doing because drum brakes are very hard to work with. And I'll show you a method if yours is rusted on there. So if yours happens to be rusted on there, go ahead and grab a pipe wrench. And you would want to remove your brake hardware as well, and you're going to clamp the pipe wrench to the hub itself. Then with that clamped on there like that, you would take a sledgehammer or just a regular hammer, depending how rusted it is, and you'll just hit it swiftly and it should just pop right off. But in my case, it's just gonna slide right out. Just like that. And taking a closer look, so as you can see, there's the ring and there's the four bolt holes and there's your dust shield and your whole brake assembly. So what you'd wanna do now is take a copper wire brush, go ahead and brush this out and you're gonna wanna smear some anises in there so that way it's not gonna lock up on you if you ever do this job again in the next decade and then we can insert the new hub. So looking at the hub itself, as you can see, it's kind of a weird shape. It's kind of curved bigger on this side. This side is smaller. And if you look at the old mark on the brake shield, you can kind of see how it used to go. And so just like that, the smaller side goes on the bottom, bigger side goes up top, getting a closer look at it. This is like the bigger arced side, whereas these sides are all curved inward. This one's straight. So the flat one goes on bottom, this curved side goes on top. Then with that in place, go ahead and put the four bolts in in the back. And when tightening these, you'll want to do it in a star pattern. Then 
And just to reassure you that you've tightened them enough, you'll see that they poke up through the hub itself. So you see how this one, it's poking out now, as well as the other three. All right, then with those four bolts in all the way and tightened down with the ratchet, you're gonna to wanna to take your torque wrench. Personally, I do not know and could not find the torque spec for these bolts. Um, when I was taking it off, it felt like it was the, in the range of 55, anywhere to 65 foot pounds. So double check on that, but go ahead and torque those down in a star shaped pattern. All right, now that those are torqued down properly, we're gonna take our brake drum and we're gonna slide it back on. Uh, make sure your e-brake is on or it's not gonna slide. Next, you'll notice on mine now there's a big gap here, but not here. That's actually because this brake dust shield is bent itself, but yours will be flush to the surface. Next, before putting the tire on, go ahead and smear some anises just on the face. Not on the bolts themselves, just on the face of the drum, so that way your rim doesn't rust to the drum itself. I have had that happen when I first bought this car. Everything was just rusted together. Now we're going to want to go ahead and tighten these a little bit. You can put on your e-brake now, help hold it in place. And now we want to go ahead and remove the jack stand, so let's jack it up and slide that out. Now we can go ahead and torque our wheels down to 76 foot-pounds. <laughs> 